Antimatter, the most dangerous substance in the universe, but what is it? And what would happen if you snorted it? Antimatter is like regular matter's evil twin. For every particle in the universe, there's an antimatter counterpart. Electrons have positrons. Protons have antiprotons. When they meet, boom. When matter and antimatter collide, they annihilate each other, releasing pure energy. How much energy? A single gram of antimatter could power New York City for a day, or destroy it entirely. Antimatter isn't just lying around waiting for us. It's made in facilities like CERN, where we smash particles together at nearly the speed of light. But here's the catch. Antimatter is insanely expensive. One milligram costs over $25 billion to produce. That's why we keep it in magnetic traps, so it doesn't touch anything and annihilate us all. Now let's say you snorted a microscopic amount of antimatter. What happens next? Spoiler alert, it's bad. First, the antimatter meets your nasal tissues. Each particle annihilates with the matter in your body, releasing gamma rays and high energy particles. This triggers a chain reaction that, well, let's just say your nose doesn't exist anymore. And that's just the start. The gamma rays and high energy particles would create a shock wave, blowing apart everything within a meter radius. And that's if you survive the initial burst. The energy released is so intense it could vaporize your entire body and take out everyone in the room. So what have we learned today? Antimatter is the most dangerous substance in the universe. It's insanely expensive to produce, impossible to handle without specialized equipment, and if you snort it, well, you won't have time to regret it. Thankfully, we don't have enough antimatter to cause these kinds of problems, yet. But if you ever come across it, don't snort it. Trust me. To create this video, we use CGI to accurately depict particle collisions and gamma ray bursts. We consulted physicists to ensure every explosion was scientifically accurate and every fact checked out. Because science matters, even when it's blowing up stuff in Michael Bay style.